In this video, we'll look at problem number two from the Sensoidal SHM Problem Solving Worksheet. Problem number two reads, an elastic cord vibrates with a frequency of 3 Hz when a mass of 0 0.60 kilograms is hung from it. What is its frequency if only 0 0.38 kilograms hangs from it? So we know we're dealing with frequency here. So we know that the frequency of a mass on a spring system, which is how we're going to model our elastic cord, is going to be equal to 1 over 2 pi times the square root of k over m. Now, in the first part of the problem, we're given a frequency and we're given a mass. We're not given k. In the second part of the problem, what is the frequency if only 0 0.38 kilograms hangs from it? Well, we're given a mass, but we're not given a frequency or k. So we are missing the k value for this spring. If I look at just the first part of the problem, 3 hertz, 60 kilograms, that's frequency and mass. I can use the first part of the problem to solve for k. So that'll be our first step. So for step number one, solve for the k value. So I'll set this up as the frequency is equal to 1 over 2 pi times the square root of k over m. So now we know that our frequency is 3.0 hertz, and that's equal to 1 over 2 pi times the square root of an unknown k, but a mass of 0 0.6 kilograms, 0 0.60 kilograms on the bottom here. And now the only thing we don't know is k, and so we can solve for k. So in, in doing this, we would find that k is going to be equal to 213.2 newton meters. Okay, that's how we solve for k. Once we know k, now the second part of the problem is asking us, what is the frequency if only 0 0.38 kilograms hangs from it? So we have to do a second problem. The second problem is solving for this unknown frequency due to this mass and this k value. So in step number two, solve for frequency. So we will have the frequency is equal to 1 over 2 pi times the square root of our k value, 213.2 newton meters, all divided by a mass of 0 0.38 kilograms. And so we can run this through our calculator, divide 213.2 by 0 0.38, take the square root, then divide that by 2 pi, and we come up with a frequency of 3.8 hertz. So, interestingly enough, if you look at this formula, we decreased the mass, and it increased the frequency, which is exactly what we would expect because the frequency and the mass in this formula have an inverse relationship with each other. When there was 0.6 kilograms hanging, we had 3 hertz. When we decreased the mass from 0.6 kilograms to 0 0.38 kilograms, the frequency increased. A decrease in mass causes an increase in frequency. I hope this helped. See you in the next one.